Hi everyone, this is CR Gaming. I just got to ATR 72-600, and of course, as you all know, the Microsoft Flight Simulator flight plan does not sync with the plane. Here, I'm going to show you the quickest way to get that flight plan put in there without using SimBrief, just for everyone that has the basic flight simulator and wants to get it started. So, I'm just going to do a quick flight from Frankfurt to Glasgow. This is a flight I did earlier today. And we're going to be on runway 7C here. Now, recommend a direct departure, but we could put a departure in if we wanted to. And a direct arrival. So you see all these different waypoints. These are what we're going to add to the flight sim once we get in the game. So I'm going to hit fly at this point. And we're just going to wait a minute here for us to load up. Okay, so we've spawned in on the runway here. The first thing we're going to want to do is pull up the nav log. And this has all the points that we're going to want to stop at. So this will make it a little bit easier to program the uh, flight computer here. So the first thing we need to do is look at the two airports that we're flying to. We're going to click on this little thing next to FMS. And then we're going to click on flight plan, the FLP or FPLN button. New flight plan by clicking here. And then we're going to click on um, route here. So we're going to type in EDDF slash EGPF. EDD F slash E G P F. I'm a little slow typing here. And then we're just going to hit on this one next to the from two. It'll take a couple seconds and now it's put our root in. And we're just going to hit this execute button right here. So now we're on the flight plan page again. And as you can see, we have our uh, origin airport, our destination airport, and a discontinuity in between. So that's where we're going to add all the waypoints. So I'm going to start typing in A uh, M O S U O S U, as you can see right here. And I'm going to click on that flight plan discontinuity. And you see it added that flight uh, point right there. Next thing we're going to do is type in D pad. D E P A D and we click on the flight continuity and it's right there. Next one we're gonna do is NAPRO. I'm not gonna do all of these, but just show you how to do it. So when you hit N A P R O and hit that flight continuity again. Now this one it gave me two different options. So we're going to click the closer one, which is the top one, and that's going to put in the correct one. So there's two options in the world for that. Next thing we're going to do is, let's assume I entered all these waypoints in. You can just scroll down this list and you enter all of them in. This is our final, so you don't need to enter that one in. And I'm going to hit clear and click on that flight discontinuity. So see, now we have a flight plan that's complete. And then I'm going to click this execute button. Everything turns green. So right now we're set to take off at this airport and go to this first waypoint right here. Now, we do want to tell the flight computer what runway we're on, so I'm going to click right there. And we're going to be on runway 7C, so we're going to click over here. Now, if we did want to have a uh, transition, we'd click on the transitions right here, but I'm going to click on none. And then again, we're going to hit that execute button. So see, now it says that we're taking off on runway 7C, and then we're going to go to this waypoint. If we look on our little screen here, you can see that the uh, magenta line is going directly to our left. So basically take off and then go straight towards that waypoint. Now, we also want to be able to set up our uh, final destination. So we're going to hit next. Actually, I didn't put in all the waypoints. You would hit next here if you had more than one page. And we're going to click on right where it says EGPF, which is our destination airport. And again, we can set up whatever runway we want here. I would like to do the ILS-23 approach. And we can actually choose any of these transitions here if we want, or just click None. And again, we hit Execute. Now, it did put in a flight plan discontinuity, because generally ATC would give me a direction to fly. But since we don't want that in here, we're just going to hit Previous again. We're going to hit Clear and click on that discontinuity. And then when you see everything yellow, you need to hit Execute to actually make it do it. 
So now we are all set to fly. As you can see, we have our Runway 23 in there, and we even have our Go Around programmed if we decide to do a best approach. So everything is all set up, and we're ready to fly. The one thing that we do want to check is our fuel. If we go into the PERF tab, Performance, here you can have a def couple different options. It shows your V-speeds. You can set to max cruise or long range. There's a lot of different things you can set. But if you keep clicking over to weight, here we have another screen. It says fuel on board is 5,000 pounds. Now that's not correct because I put 11,260 pounds of fuel on board. So we're going to want to change that so our fuel calculations work correctly. It's not going to let me type in more than 11,000. And it automatically jumps to 11,001. But now that's going to make my uh, the computer basically know how much fuel is on the plane. Now there are some glitches with this still. If we click on flight plan, you see at my first weight point, it's saying I only have 3,967 pounds of fuel. So it's not really changing that the way it should. But uh, that is expected to be fixed in the future. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put it in the comments.